Now, after you get a treatment at NYX, well, you're going to want something captivating to watch, right? Maybe check out the new season of Fargo. Well, Daddy caught up with some of the stars to learn more. You both are obviously getting uh, to join a really amazing series. I was saying earlier, I'm a total fangirl for both of you guys because of shows like Never Have I Ever and Stranger Things. So did you feel a lot of pressure uh, coming into Fargo or how did it feel for you guys? Yeah. Do you want to start? Sure. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> did. I was a fan of the show. Um, I had seen it all the seasons and just loved the tone of the show and um, yeah, I definitely felt a little bit of pressure coming in. What about you? I did and still feel the pressure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, Fargo is an institution and I I had actually never seen Fargo until I auditioned for the show, but I obviously knew everything that I'd heard about it and how uh, incredible it is. And I became a huge fan once I watched it. And yeah, I, I strongly felt that I had big shoes to fill. Oh my gosh. Well, it's such an incredible show. Like you were saying, it's one that we've been watching and a lot of our friends and family are obsessed with. So it's really cool to see you guys join the cast. <laughs> now, I, ha I had this question too while watching the show. Of course, the Midwest is known for a lot and the dialect and accent can be like, you know, kind of tough. Um, how did you guys prepare to, to be doing that accent throughout the show? Wow, I mean, it's, it's, I feel like we also all have different regional accents yeah. kind of going on, uh, yeah. which is kind of fun to play I loved with. your accent. On yeah, the show. I mean, likewise. <laughs> I feel like it was really, uh, I, I worked with, um, Liz. With Liz. Yeah. yeah, we all kind of worked with, um, Liz. Who she... is the original dialect coach from the movie and all the previous installments of Fargo? So that was super cool to get to work with her. Yeah, kind of like the perfect resource, really. Yeah. Um, but I feel like it really helped kind of get in the world yeah. of the show and kind of once you started to kind of figure that out, for me at least, it like kind of unlocked some stuff. Yeah, totally. I think that it doesn't happen with every character, but definitely for me, for this character, working on the dialect was my way into, like you said, into the world and into the character. A woman got taken or escaped or something? We think these fellas grabbed her up in Minnesota taking her to points west when the trooper pulled him over well i mean even just watching the trailers you guys do such a good job at, at really playing that part so good job very good <laughs> joe i want to ask you too i mean this wasn't your first rodeo obviously with a darker plot um so how do you get into character for roles like these and, and kind of getting into like a, a darker darker role um i guess just starting from a place of just what the character's relationship is with other characters um, specifically I guess with John's character that was kind of the jumping off point um, it kind of ties into the themes of the whole season of sort of debt and what what does a, what does a wife owe a husband or what does a son owe his father um, and I think kind of starting from that place was very helpful uh, and then kind of letting the the actual theme and tone of the show kind of seep in after that uh, because I was kind of familiar with that after, you know, being a fan of the original movie and watching the show. So it's kind of, it's something maybe that you sort of think about after the fact, the, the you know, kind of the dark themes that you're dealing with um, and just trying to start from a place of what are, what's the relationships, I yeah. guess, that you're dealing with. Yeah, definitely. Well, and I mean, for you, Rich, uh, our staff, of course, we all loved uh, your sense of humor and never have I ever. So this is kind of a, a little bit of a pivot, uh, oh, yes. new role for you, a bit more serious with, of course, a little bit of humor sprinkled in. So what was that like for you uh, pivoting to this role in Fargo? It was uh, definitely a challenge, but more more than a challenge, it was honestly just so much fun. I, I coming off of Never Have I Ever, wanted to do something that was totally different, and uh, you know, different accent, different genre, everything. And I'd obviously never played a cop before, so I didn't even know if I could do that. I was honestly hesitant to even audition for it because I didn't believe that I could even do that. Um, but I, I have to say, I'm proud of myself because I feel like. I was able to really prove to myself that I can do more than... Um, I think some of us as actors have the problem of actually typecasting ourselves, you know, and uh, that's something that I did, so yeah, I'm, I'm glad that I was able to prove to myself that I shouldn't be doing that. 
yeah, definitely. I mean, again, even from just watching uh, the trailers and the few clips that we've seen, you're you're so perfect for this role. So hopefully that oh, helps thank you. you. Yeah, broaden your range a little bit in your own mind as well. I mean, this is such a fun and talented cast too. Um, and so did anything funny or fun happen behind the scenes or between takes that you guys <laughs> want to share with us? You know, we always want to know the behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, do you have anything off the top of your head? Oh my God, so many things. Like what specifically? I don't know. I mean, one thing that I'm, I just was so made, made it such a beautiful experience was that despite the fact that we were living in the coldest climate, minus 20 Celsius was like the average every day. Um, we still as a cast made it a point to get together, even offset, even though we were shooting the longest days and, you know, the most tiring weeks, we still made it a point to get together at each other's places mm -hmm. and go out for dinner in the freezing cold and, um, yeah, it just really felt like a family. Yeah, so you had a very nice holiday party. I did. I made vegan food for everybody. That was very fun. <laughs> yeah, it was. There was a lot of good hanging out, a lot of good camaraderie. I feel like on the set, um, which isn't always the case. So it's, yeah. it's always nice to kind of spend some get to spend some real time yeah. off camera. Definitely. Well, guys, we are so looking forward to this new season of Fargo. Like we said, we're all big fans here at the station, so we can't wait to see what this new season holds for both of you and uh, what the future holds for both of you. We really we are fans of both of your work. So, Joe, Richa, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us today. We're so excited to see the new season. Thank, thank you. you so much. Fun. And you can catch new episodes of Fargo on Tuesdays on FX. It's also streaming on Hulu.